Hello, everyone. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. In case you haven't heard, there's an election coming up very soon. Matter of fact, a lot of people have already voted. And to hear some speak, this is probably the most important election that we have ever had. And I say that with a little bit of sarcasm. Every election is important. But this year, it seems like everybody thinks that this is the year, that if you don't vote for the person they want, if we don't elect the person that they want, then America is doomed. That our country will go into a dark place. That things will be very bad for the next four years. And so we, we get concerned. We worry. And yet as Christians, we shouldn't be worried. You see, our hope isn't in a president. Our hope isn't even in our government. Our hope isn't even in our country. As believers, our hope is somewhere else. Psalm 119, verse 114, from the New Living Translation, is the verse of the day, and it says this, You are my refuge. You are my shield. Your word is my source of hope. You hear that? Your word is my source of hope. It's not anything here in this world. All the things that are here are temporary. We will elect a president. He will serve for four years. And then we'll vote again. And so, it's temporary. Yeah, bad things can happen. But God will see us through it. But he tells us that his word is our source of hope. His word. When we think of it, we normally think of this book right here. The Bible. The Bible is God's word. It tells us about his promises to us. It tells us how we can know that we have a right relationship with him. It tells us how we can live our life to the fullest and best. And so we receive hope through his word here. But the most important reason we receive hope through this word is because it points us to the word. In John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And then a few verses down, it says, The Word became flesh and lived among us. When it's talking about the Word there, as Christians, we know it means Jesus Christ. We know it means the one that we call Savior. And we put our hope. He is our source of hope. And so we put all of our hope in him. We put our hope in him because he's made it possible for us to have a relationship with God. His death has brought about the forgiveness of our sins. It's paid the penalty for our sinfulness. And then his resurrection gives us that hope of eternal life. That one day whether Jesus returns before we die or when we die, we will go to be with him. And then we'll spend all eternity with him. And eternity is a long time. And so my hope isn't in the things of this world. And it shouldn't be for any of us as Christians. Our hope is in Jesus. We don't put our hope in our country. We don't put our hope in our government. We don't put our hope in any single person except for the one who was God in the flesh, for Jesus Christ. When we put our hope in him, when we look to him as our source of hope, then we have something to really hold on to, something that is permanent, not just temporary. And so even though I hope the person that I vote for will be elected. If not, I know my hope is still secure in Jesus Christ. 
And even though things may get difficult, maybe things won't go the way that I want them to, I know God is still with me and will see me through it no matter what. I hope you'll think about that in the next few days, in the next few weeks, as we go through this election time. Don't get too concerned. Don't get overly worried about whether or not your person gets elected. And especially after the election's over, if your person doesn't become the president, it's all right. Jesus is still with us. Jesus is still king. Jesus is still our source of hope. And we'll get through it. Thank you for joining us today. I hope that uh, you received a little bit of encouragement. And I hope you'll join us again next week when we return. Until then, may God bless you and may he keep you.